So as I mentioned in my last video, I killed my old car, that Mazda 3 over there, bought a new Mazda 3. Um, well, cause some I knew, it's 2016, new to me. Uh, and, as I mentioned, put my foot on the brake here, it has this entertainment center, which obviously runs Linux, because what else would it run? Uh, I mean, some cars run Ford, or Ford used to have uh, Microsoft stuff in it. But if it's not Microsoft and it's not Apple, it's probably Linux. Uh, and I was a little, you know, I don't like buying, I don't, I like buying Linux devices that I can get a root shelling. So if I have a Linux kernel and a uh, root, I can do pretty much anything I want. Uh, the interface, you know, isn't direct with this yet, but I can run scripts off this flash drive, which I'll get more into in other videos, but I've, I've, um, plug this in now. So there's two USB ports here for uh, playing uh, music or charging your phone. There's also an SD card slot that I wish you could play music off of, uh, but it's actually for map navigation. I mean, that seems all it can do right now, but maybe once I uh, learn more about the system, maybe I can get it to play music off of the flash, or off the SD card. That would be awesome. I don't know why it doesn't have that functionality already. I have also discovered, as you'll see in a moment, it takes, uh, I did time this. Online they say it could take 60 to two, 60 seconds to two minutes for the script to run off the flash drive. I timed it uh, twice now and it's 45 to 50 seconds for me. Um, so after you plug in the flash drive, oh, the light just flash on. So we should get a message box up here in a second. Uh, and um, there we go. So of course it says my username, it says Chris is awesome, I click OK. And by username, I mean not the username on the system, just my handle online. Please visit Films by Chris. That's my website. Click OK. Uh, this is uh, the SD card, and I, it's creating a folder called Dump, where it's going to dump a bunch of information. We'll get a dialog for some of that stuff. As you can see, uh, this is just one section here. It's running Linux kernel. I don't know why it's just saying Linux, not the rest of it. I must have cut something different there. Uh, but obviously, it's running ARM. It's running Linux uh, 3.0 something, I believe. Okay, uh, and as I mentioned last one, there is Wi-Fi in my car. It is just disabled by, by default. Now I just changed the script. I searched through the file system, found four scripts called start Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi start. And um, I'm gonna pull those scripts now and have a look at them. So I haven't looked at them yet, uh, but hopefully I'll be able to get Wi-Fi running on this. And uh, I the script is running as root. Um, storage info that was supposed to run to you command. I just made some change to this. Uh, but I do know just from pulling partition information, there's a, a number of partitions, but it seems like the main partition is four gigs. Uh, path information, so this is all the paths that programs run from. All the stuff's being dumped. Uh, this JCI, uh, I don't know what that stands for. I need that look it up, but that's JCI contains the program that runs these dialog boxes. And right now I'm just doing like confirmation boxes, but they have warning and error dialog boxes. Uh, you can do uh, a three button dialog box. According to the help, I haven't done anything but these basic boxes. I'll click OK. Um, and now it's, oh, the car also has automatic windshield wipers and it just started raining. Uh, right now it should, should have started running some more scripts. Again, I just made some changes to it to pull some files. So uh, uh, the flash drive is not flashing right now. So one of my commands might have... Oh, no, it's flashing a little bit now. Um, I have had where I type a command wrong and it, the script dies halfway through, it crashes, and I'll get the output to the screen. Uh, but it should be pulling, hopefully, uh, those scripts, and it's going to be dumping a bunch of information. I already uh, ran the find command and dumped a list. Here we go. So now I click OK, and now it should be dumping a list of every file on the from the root directory. It's not copying the files, just making a list of them, which I actually have already created and, and looked through. Um, but eventually I'm gonna write it so that it copies all the files to the flash. I figure that will take a while and I don't wanna be sitting in my driveway idling while it's doing it, so I figure I'll probably add that to the script and run it next time I'm driving so it will run in the background and hopefully make a copy of the full operating system. Uh, if I go over here, okay, so it's supposedly completed and dumped all that information. There's other information that it dumped too that I'll look at in another video. But if we go into uh, the settings here and I go over to devices, oh, and then anytime you run something off this, it does a data retrieval at the end uh, and mostly empty files for that. Um, you see how yeah, Bluetooth, 
you should be able to get Wi-Fi here. I think Wi-Fi has to do with navigation and I think you have to buy their software, but I'm gonna look at those scripts that hopefully were just pulled to the flash drive and see if I can get the Wi-Fi up uh, and running. And it'd be awesome if I connect to my house Wi-Fi, uh, startup SSH, which is on there, the uh, SSH server, and also the BusyBox on here is almost a full version of BusyBox with a web server on it, but also it has Chirrut, which means theoretically I could get Debian running on here off a of flash drive, which would be awesome. I wouldn't really get anything graphical, but I could have commands running in the background like Kismet or something or some other networking stuff while I'm driving around. I don't know. I'm just throwing out ideas. I'm just keeping you guys updated uh, on what I'm doing. I'm just having fun. Again, I've had this car. This is the, the third day I've had it. Not even, you know, it's been two days probably because I got it in the evening two days ago. And, uh, and I was at work yesterday, so I didn't really get to play with this. So this is my first day really playing with this besides making dialog boxes pop up. And uh, I'm pulling a lot of information off of it learning a lot about it and I just want to keep you guys updated there'll be a lot more videos on this because I'll be playing with this a lot more thanks for watching and as always please visit filmsbychris.com that's Chris the K there's a link in the description and I hope that you have a great day